Everybody ready? Spatula is up. Go ahead and start rolling. It's undisputed by food historians that the humble grilled cheese actually dates back to Roman times. And here in Wisconsin, it's something that runs in our blood. It's a great example of, of what we do best, this extraordinary staple, this simple dairy product put between bread, but here, it's part of who we are. And this, the grilled cheese competition, is a great opportunity for some of our better chefs and some amateurs really just to show off, to put a little twist on something that we all know is comfort food, but that something is so treasured. We're putting that beer in town and we're raising all the money for the Lions Club by selling beer here today. So you need to go buy some beer. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then bring it to Ben and I down at this end of it. My name is Lauren Tepper. I'm the Executive Director of Economic and Workforce Development at Madison Area Technical College and the creator of the Wisconsin Grilled Cheese Championship. There was a grilled cheese championship. They called it the Invitational in California. And I thought, well, if they can pull something like that off with their inferior cheese, just think what we could do in Wisconsin with our better cheese, because after all, we have happier cows. Well, every competitor has 15 minutes to grill two sandwiches. And when they're done, they raise their little cheese flag, and there's a runner that takes it to the judge's table. But after you grill your sandwiches, you decide which one you want to save for presentation value, and that one's kept whole. And the other one is cut up into quarters for the judges to sample. So then it goes to the judges' table, and they sample it, they score it. It's based upon presentation, taste, and creativity. So we'd like to see what they can do with clever ingredients. Last year was our first one, the inaugural event, and we had no idea how many people were going to show up. And we had an estimated over 1,200 people show up in Mineral Point, and everyone just had a really good time. So we decided, hey, this might be something we could do every year. So we've got Paul Short from one of our great culinary schools here in Madison, Wisconsin. My buddy Dan Fox, soon to be opening his restaurant, but uh, from Slow Pig. And on this side, Nate, who's a private chef with one of our basically great tech corporations here in Madison, and he cooks for about 500 professionals every day. So, in the scheme of things, I'm the only real Yahoo here that shouldn't be judging, except that I've eaten a lot of grilled cheeses in my life. Right so, here. we're basically, we're judging on presentation, taste, and then style. And uh, we all talked and basically, you know, it's gotta, be, it's gotta be what your heart identifies as a grilled cheese, otherwise, it's really not within the boundaries of, of what we all know. You gotta honor the craft, and I'm not being glib. But some of them look gorgeous and taste a little funky. And some of them look kind of wacky. Like, like, you know, you weren't entirely sober when you made that grilled cheese you really want in the morning. But they're delicious. So it's really hard. Hey, this is a jalapeno popper for us. It's got jalapenos, cream cheese, and it's got the beautiful jack cheese and bacon. Nummy. Bacon in the cream cheese. Yeah. Samir Karimi and Huma Siddiqui, we're both owners of White Jasmine. So White Jasmine has our three goudas, we're using our tandoori gouda. Nice and spicy, a little creamy. A lot of ingredients that we created ourselves, the spice blend is our own, and that's what goes into the gouda cheese and then it melts and it's just beautiful. When it's your mom's recipe, you can't go wrong, right? <laughs> Name is Mason, um, I'm making actually a lot of things. It's too much to say almost. I'm actually uh, going to saute up some micro kale, some hickory nuts at the end, toast it a little bit. All is going to be on a, a hop and barley bread that I just got from Madison got Sourdough. Got cheeses here. I got a Saxon green fill. I got a Red Barn one year age, Bellavitano with espresso, and also a Pleasant Ridge Reserve. Then I got a gooseberry jelly, uh, dry cured um, olives. That's it. It's a mouthful. Ah, I'm using Aaron Glaza. I'm making a Pleasant Ridge Reserve with uh, Madison Sourdough Sprouted Rye and Sweet and Sour Red Cabbage. So the bread was made uh, by Madison Sourdough this morning at 6.30 when we picked it up. 
Uh, preservation of one of my favorite cheeses. It's a um, kind of farmhouse style cheese from like Emmentaler and Gruyere, made here in this Drifless area. And uh, mm. just, uh, I think all the flavors are going to go well together. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.